Hearts thumping, tension building here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, joined here in the commentary box as always by Lee Dixon, and we're ready for UEFA Champions League group stage action tonight. It is Juventus against Atletico Madrid. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. Who was Santiago Bernabeu, you might be asking. He was involved at Real Madrid for a long time as a player, director of football, coach, manager, club president from 1911 until 1978. Yeah, the steep-sided stands here, I believe, create a unique atmosphere in European football. Absolutely brilliant. And this is how Juventus will line up. Wojciech Szczesny starts in goal. Andrea Barzani plays alongside Medi Benatia in central defence. Plays Matuidi plays with Emre Can in central midfield. And leading the attack today is the heart to contain Cristiano Ronaldo. Rodri, Diego Costa, Lamar. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Felipe Luis has it. Saul's lost the ball. I'll tell you what, Lee, whatever way you slice it, Atletico have been one of Europe's foremost clubs in recent years, and of course it was all capped off with the 2018 Europa League triumph. Well, that's right, and sometimes they go under the radar, Real Madrid and Barcelona are above them, but they're a really, really good football team, and they're managed well, coached well, and they've got some talent in their squad as well. Juventus keep possession, and it's positive possession. What can they do from this position? The ball with Rodri. Lamar. Saul. It's a weighted pass. And here's Griezmann. Was angled towards Lamar. And a half baked clearance. It's with Saul. Tenacious defending from Banzani. Atletico have the corner. That's a deep corner, not messing around with that clearance. Saul. The first goal of the match, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. It's taken a while, but the pressure has taken its toll. Well, here's the replay. I'm sure the keeper will be looking at his defenders, but what can they do? It's a lovely strike off his laces in the back of the net. So back playing once more, and the lead belongs to Atletico Madrid. The ball with Rodri. Now Jimenez. And here's Lamar. Now regaining possession for his side, cleverly. Read there to intercept. Jimenez. Juan Fran. Saul. Coque with it. Running with the ball confidently. Griezmann. He's feeling the pressure here. Lamar. Griezmann. An attempt like that, never likely to trouble the keeper. No, he's got positioning right, but it was a poor shot in the end. A Juve free kick here. Here's Benatia. Juventus, the old lady, they know how to keep the ball. What can they do from here? Koke. It's with Saul. Now Juan Fran. Koke with it. 
And here's Griezmann. Now Griezmann. Now, what can he do here? Attending to his defensive chores. Rodri. And here's Lamar. He had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. Running towards goal. One man to beat. Dybala in the centre. And he's clear his lines. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Koke. And it's the vision of Griezmann coming to the fore. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. And they start the second half. It's Atletico Madrid out in front. And here's Lamar Rodri. And given away by Atletico. Using the wide route could be beneficial for Juve. Well, they did have possession of the ball, but all that good work now counts for nothing. They don't normally need a second invitation to give it a go on the counter. Is he going to punish them here? And caught with ease, no real threat from the cross. Koke. The ball with Rodri. And it's Koke. Now well, let's see, does he mean business? Let's see what he has in store for them. It's with Dybala. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Rodri. And here now is Diego Costa. And here's Griezmann! Dybala Jimenez Felipe Luis has it Cabrado He was certainly in The chance was there But credit has to go to the defender league Well Part of a defender's job is to put players off doing their job, and that's exactly what they do there. It's a decent effort in the end, but under pressure. And two substitutes on at the same time for Juve. Quadrado, not accurate enough there. Griezmann gets himself into the attacking third with the ball at his feet. Costa with it. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Jimenez losing. Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. And it's there for him. And a goal. That's what they wanted here, Juventus. It's level now. Well, just look at this, they all back off him and he takes the advantage, he goes through one, two, three, in the end it's a wonderful solo goal. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. 
Felipe Luis. Diego Costa. Now Griezmann. Coque with it. They're certainly making attacking inroads, Atletico Madrid. But what can they do from this position? Ronaldo on the move. Costa with it. Douglas Costa with the cross. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. And that's a deep corner. Thumped clear. And options in the centre. No nonsense clearance. Koke's lost the ball. He's gone for power lead, but it's wide. Well, no real direction, but the power was there. And you're right, it's just gone past the post. Griezmann. Now, what can he do here? Griezmann in the middle. Plattered away. Now, Cuadrado. Cristiano Ronaldo. Felipe Luis. One minute remaining. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Felipe Luis. The final whistle is sounded. And Juventus really had designs on winning this game. But instead, it has finished in a draw. So a couple of points dropped by Juve on match day one. Well, it's not ideal. You can drop points here and there in the group stages, but not too many. A little bit more emphasis on trying to gain three points in game two. The manager.